Hello, this is Muhammad Musa, and I am going to give a short demo on Open Data Protocol Visualizer for Visual Studio 2010. At the beginning, I will need to install OData Visualizer extension for Visual Studio.NET 2010. I will go to Tools, Extension Manager. Then I will open the online gallery. Uh, I was lucky enough to find it under All directly. But in case you didn't find it, you can search for it or open tools, then go to data. Now you can see open data listed under tools data. You can download it and then install. Uh, you need to restart your Visual Studio, then we'll be back again. Next, I'll create a simple console application. And I will add the reference to an online or data service. You can find a list of online data services available at www.odata.org under producers. You can find a list of live or data services available. And I am going to use a Netflix or data service. We'll add a reference. You'll add a service reference. Put in your address. This is the OData service for Netflix. I'm going to call it Netflix Catalog. And I'll hit OK. Now I have a Netflix catalog OData service as a reference for my OData Visualizer demo application. Before I start working with OData Visualizer, I would like to give you a hint about when you show all files, you can expand Netflix catalog and you will find service.admx. Trying to show the ADMX file, there is no built-in designer support for the uh, ADMX of the OData service available. But you can view the XML representation of this service. We have the Netflix model that describes the entity model of the OData. Also, when you go down, you will find the schema of the Netflix catalog itself. And here exactly where OData Visualizer will fit as it's going to visualize this ADMX showing the entities a model of any OData service you need to visualize. To start visualize your OData service, right click on the service and select view and diagram. An empty canvas will be shown and showing a summary of your OData service as you can see here, conceptual model content. And I was surprised to know that Netflix has five functional imports. To show all entities, hit the add all of namespace, of the namespace, here is the entities, all entities added to the canvas. You can zoom in or zoom out by hitting control minus to zoom out or control plus to zoom in. You notice that we have set of entities with blue color and other with brown color. Brown color are considered complex types and the blue ones are entities. OData Visualizer also has a model browser. When you right click on the canvas and select show in model browser, it will open OData protocol model browser window where you can list Netflix entity types. As you can see in here, double click on any of them, it will highlight the entity on the canvas. Same thing for complex types and as well for associations, double click on association, it will highlight the association for you. Like in here, it highlights cast, uh, relation and in title, and here, this is the relation, it's many to many with the person entity, and it highlights the other end in here. Beside the relations and entity types, inside Netflix catalog, section you can find entity sets of your netflix catalog context also there are functional imports 
as you can see there are five function imports and they have return types the return types is a collection of entity you can view properties of these function imports here in this window in properties window the method accept HTTP get name is movies and the term type is collection of titles if you want to view this in the browser you can just open the browser type in your URL and this will show you this list of movies to turn off uh, the feed view of Internet Explorer you can open tools Internet options content then under feeds and web slices you can click settings turn off feed reading view and click OK and hit again OK you need to close your browser and open it again put in your URL and this will show you the XML representation of the feed itself I would like to explore a few other features of the OData visualizer like laying out your diagram here you can lay out to the right or lay out to left as you wish you can also remove all entities and start add them one by one by drag and drop from the uh, model browser window and you have another cool feature like add related entities option when you add related entities option it will add only related entities to the diagram canvas and when you right click you can also add related complex types in this case it will add the complex types related to title entity also you can remove selected entity you have different options for remove like remove selected only remove all but selected or remove all it was to mention, mention that you cannot save this diagram like this and uh, when you open again you will find the related entities you just added like this for example let's close this diagram when you right click again and view in the diagram it will show nothing so you need to start all over however you have an option to export your diagram to XPS uh, export the diagram to XPS is a good feature personally I wish that I was able to export it to an, an image, a JPEG or a PNG or maybe to a PDF continuing showing features of OData Visualizer along with drag and drop of entity types from model browser to the canvas you can also drag and drop associations to the canvas here I am going to drag title actors association from model browser to the canvas it will drop two entities of the related end of this association title and person entities at the same time it highlights the related end properties in both entities in title it's cast and in person it is titles acted in as you can see also it highlights the relation itself in the canvas there is an option where you can jump to generate a code of a specific entity you can select the entity right click and select view generated code or hit F12 for a shortcut view generated code will automatically jump to generated code of the specific selected entity as you can see here uh, you can view the uh, generated code of the person entity also when you use solution explorer if you want to view the full generated code you can select Netflix catalog or your servers show all files and under reference the data SVC map you will find reference.cs where the whole generated code is located I think this is all about OData Visualizer extension for VS 2010 I hope you enjoyed this video and wish to see you soon in another one